regression in Excel, uh, the basics are fairly straightforward now, which is great. Um, we can estimate a slope coefficient using the function slope, known y's, known x values. Um, so there's the slope coefficient, the function intercept, doing the same thing. Gives us the intercept term correlation using the function C-O-R-R-E-L, Corel. Um, this one doesn't matter which order you put the variables in. Um, with the regression line, you must enter the Y variable first. Thankfully, Excel tells us that by asking for the known Ys. The correlation, I've got B first and then A. <coughs> That's 0.95. Notice if I do correlation uh, putting in the x variable first and the y variable second whoops try again oh dear let's fix that up b2 to b12 um, I get exactly the same number I'd suggest um, using correlation get in the habit of using y first um, simply so that if you're doing regression, you don't um, don't mix them up. Okay, so those are the those are the basics. Um, we can do hypothesis testing. Um, often the slope we're really interested in is that slope significantly different from zero. In the data menu, uh, if you don't have um, a data analysis thing here, you might need to add it in. So. We go to the file menu and then click options down the bottom here and there's an add-ins and if we manage Excel add-ins we want to make sure that analysis tool pack is selected. So click OK and then appears a data analysis um, area. So if we've got our, our um, bivariate data and we click on data analysis Whereas and hisses, and then gives us a whole lot of options. In this case, I want regression. Click OK. Um, and here it wants to know where my Y variable is. Oops. Careful. So there's the Y data. Clicking on input the X range. There's the X data. Um, Perhaps asking, you know, confidence interval might be useful. Let's let's say yes. Um, defaults to a new worksheet. Uh, can you know, ask for various things. Let's let's call the residuals. Clicking OK, and it um, does a heck of a lot very quickly. Um, calculates for us some statistics. You might recognise that number. That was the correlation. Uh, this is the correlation squared, uh, so if we squared Pearson's correlation, um, that gives us the coefficient of determination labelled R squared, typically. Um, what else have we got here in analysis of variance? Um, this p-value here uh, is the same as this p-value there, which is telling us is that slope coefficient significantly different from zero? Um, so those those values, that one was given to us by the uh, intercept function, this one by the slope, but now we have um, an associated p-value for a two-sided test that uh, the true, the population coefficient is zero. It's done predictions for us. Um, we could have done those ourselves. So constant plus the slope times uh, the observation one which had a value of one um, 98.03 is the prediction if we flick back uh, the value was 128 so the residual is 128 minus the prediction um, so that's the residual the observation was 29.96 above above the line um, so it's 
in terms of what this um, is, is gaining us. It's not really worth doing just for these really we're after um, that p-value there but a relatively simple process in Excel.